Palmieri, the keeper, hesitates, doesn't come for it. Not the best of starts there for Lawrence Atizigi. Scored in the uh, recent friendly against Nigeria, also scored in both of their World Cup qualifiers so far. Scored the opener against Chad on the stroke of half time in a, what turned out to be a 3-1 win. Also scored the opener in that draw against the Central African Republic here back on the 20th of November. Dropped points perhaps, but maybe not too crucial in the uh, grand scheme of things as that shot comes in, stings the palms of the keeper. There he is making the run in behind, just on the right of your screen. Now Koulibaly comes forward, got Sacco outside him, continues his run, Sacco cuts back. Oh, good tackle in the end. Kudus told to get up after losing the ball, having just won it back. Still under pressure here, the Black Stars. Marley have had one snapshot. Well palmed over by the goalkeeper. Coming forwards again now into the area is Dumbia. Spreads the ball out left, trying to tee up. Koulibaly on the edge of the box, but too many red shirts in the way. Semenyo crowded out on the halfway line for Ghana. Now Sacco again, this time goes long. Ball over the top, the defenders missed it. And thankfully for him, teammate covering him behind. Good work from Alexander Jiku. The Fenerbahce defender. Can play as a right back, but... Goes for the penalty spot, there's a sprawling save there from Matty Zigi. Danger not gone yet, another defender throws himself in the way of the shot. This time it's Ali, Ali Dusedu, I think. The Ghana area, there's definitely a lack of confidence there for Ghana. Oh, nice turn, the ball into the near post, that had to be defended by Mohamed Salisu. At the near post, here's the earlier opportunity. Ooh, coming in, and that's a really good save from the St. Gallen. Stopper. And another corner here, plenty of white shirts to Weymouth, and a fantastic din being created by the hands as well. This time, going for the edge of the six-yard box, and the, again the defenders beaten to it. Real touch off that heat. Two minutes of time added on at the end of the first half. Ball goes long. That's well one on the edge of the area. The cutback as well. The shot blocked, and then the rebound, double rebound, and in for the opener. And on the stroke of half time, somehow Mali have taken the lead. Well worth looking at that one again. Almost out of nothing. The cross came in, the shot went, went off, was blocked, and came back off another player and went straight into the goal. The keeper's completely stranded. A little bit of a worry there with Dumbia. Just having a little limp. Wait for the replay here to see just exactly the sequence of events that led to that goal. Here we go. The ball came in. The shot from Dumbia blocked it was. By Jiku came back into Dumbia again, reflected off of him. And into the back of the net. Gano, just as they've been looking probably their, at their best they had in the whole match just before the break. Good defending here from Sacco. Just about gets the job done. There can't be much left to go in this first half now. 
It'll be a little bit added on for the goal celebrations, of course. Can they find something before the interval? Semenyo battling away, and they will have a corner. The DB. The Debo sorry, uh, Sanyan going down there looking for a free kick to relieve the pressure from the referee. The referee having nothing to do with it. Everyone back here for Mali inside their own area. Yeah, the what can Ghana do with the set piece here? They may as well throw everyone, pretty much everyone up there. I don't think there's going to be time for a counter attack. Lampty with a delivery to the near post, not a red shirt near it. And that's it for the first half then here in Abanaco. And as you can hear from the crowd, it's the host that have taken the lead. The pitch. Well, this is nice play. Lamptey in behind. Good ball in there. And Semenya couldn't quite make contact. The ball back in. And eventually goes out for a corner. Semenya is so close to equalising there in the first minute of the second half. Lovely ball in, he just couldn't quite get the contact he needed. It was a full stretch, the Bournemouth striker. We will have opportunities from the set piece though. Seven red shirts in and around the area. Going deep, the keeper flapping at it and the header goes wide. Alexander Jiku claiming there should be a, another corner to Menso. A good ball down the line as well. Much better from Ghana. A bit more zip to their passing in the second half. And as I say that, there's a loose one that's a little bit too far ahead of Tariq Lamptey. to, of course, a former England youth international, then chose to go for the country of his parents' birth rather than his own. And to be fair, Lamptey, if he was going to try and get into the England squad, the country where he was originally born and bred, there's a huge line of, of right-backs waiting in the way there. If he was a left back, he'd probably already be in the England squad, or would have been if he hadn't. Kodi, one team and Fabon and Coma, Thomas Pate, Pate Jamudi Ama Jordan, Jordan are you, or the Bonnie Coben Kumsuo. Oh, hey, Pate! Thomas Kay Pate! What a mess! Oh! 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 We say, I am. SM Sun watching straight from USA New Jersey. You guys are doing a great job. God bless you. Ghana all the way. And on the other way, say I subscribe right now. I uh, say I subscribe right from the beginning of the game. Okay, Sam. Oh, hey, Brazil. Yeah, that's a pan. I mean, shout Say, what subscribe? We say Abdulaziz live from Qatar. Greetings to Kumase Mayanka Youth Black Star. Um, our visa to USC Black Stars is our visa to USC. We say nice commentary. Uh, my name is Felix Boateng Marfo, watching from India. Wow, Ooh. Ghana! Jordan, are you? I said it. I love this guy. Jordan, are you? And how are you? Oh. Jordan, are you brothers? Ghana for Pamunina Chow. Ghana for Pamachow. Are you brothers? Hey, my number seven, yeah. Yes, sir. Jordan. Oh, when you replay, yeah.